The D-Audio has successfully tested the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle today, that successfully demonstrated a longer hypersonic phase duration than the earlier test in 2020. Under the HSTDV project, the D-Audio is developing a hypersonic vehicle that is powered by a scramjet engine, that will serve as the building block for next-generation hypersonic cruise missiles. The DRDO plans to have a workable production variant of HSTDV to start user trials from 2024 onwards. The Indian Navy is unlikely to drop plans to procure six next-generation diesel-electric submarines on the Project 75i, even though the Navy is considering to procure three additional Calvary-class submarines, to utilize the expensive production line and manpower technical skills at Mazagin Dock ship builders, that can be wasted due to lack of orders. Presently only the South Korean and German bid in Project 75i meets all the criteria. But the German shipyard is not keen to participate due to quality liability and stringent transfer of technology clause. The Indian Navy is now considering to drop the mandated clause of having a sea-proven and operational fuel cell-based air-independent propulsion system, which will result in the participation of France and Russia in the Project 75i, but the Navy has made it clear that there will be no changes in stringent transfer of technology clause and quality liability. The Indian Air Force has released a video footage of the various fighter jets that flew in formation, that also captured the higher resolution infrared imagery. The RD-33 series 3 engine blades of MiG-29 UPG was the brightest, while the smaller rectangular air intakes of the Jaguar provided a better level of deflection of the heat signature of its engines. The rectangular air intakes of the Su-30 shows a better heat signature of its AL-31F engines, but the aircraft still has huge radar cross-section. The Rafale features a semi-ventral air intake along with its serpentine inlet, that conceals jet engine blades from radar waves, and the serrated patterns reduce frontal radar cross-section to a limit, and the Rafale showed better infrared principles and signatures than other jets. Indian Navy's MiG-29K aircraft has started low-speed trials on the decks of the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, and the aviation trials will start next month. INS Vikrant is currently in port, as it is getting some of the required equipment installed before aviation trials can be commenced. MiG-29K and naval Tejas will be used to assess the aviation wing capability of the aircraft carrier before it is cleared for operational roles. The DRDO has developed a smart helmet, which is fitted with an optical sensor, that can capture the 3D information of any unknown environment in real time, and assist the soldier in various decisions. The helmet is connected to a wearable backpack computer of small form factor, and the software uses an artificial intelligence algorithm to generate a 3D map of the environment along with their approximate dimensions, thereby creating a comprehensive situational awareness for decision making. The Indian Navy is in talks to purchase MQ-4C Triton from Northrop Grumman, which is a naval version of the combat-proven Global Hawk. The MQ-4C Triton Broad Area Maritime Surveillance will supplement the P-8I multi-mission maritime aircraft, as it has a 36-hour endurance, and can operate at altitudes of 60,000 feet, that will give the capability to scan large sections of the Indian Ocean for hostile surface and submarines. The Turkish company STM has delivered a second upgraded French Agusta 90B class diesel electric attack submarine to the Pakistan Navy. The Turkish firm won the tender in 2018, in which they competed against the French manufacturer DCNS for the half life modernization of Agusta 90B class submarines. Turkey has renewed and updated several systems, and the upgrade includes replacement of the entire sonar suite, periscope systems command and control system, radar and electronic support systems.